Hey guys, what's up? Bob here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2, and we are quickly coming upon the finale of the game. And when I say quickly, I mean Jesus Christ. We have less than... If my math's correct, I think we got single digits left. I'll be completely honest here. Uh, I took last week off from recording because of the fact that Brian and I were recording a secret project together. It's very funny because my Twitch audience at large... I mean, some know what it is. Others don't. <laughs> if you don't tune in regularly, you might not know what it is, but... um. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube by the time it goes live, oh, it'll have long since started by now. Hell, it might be close to being over? Maybe. But uh, regardless, uh, so I, I'm going to try to tackle as much as I can tonight because next week uh, I'm going to be going on vacation out of state to Arizona. Uh, so I won't be here. And so we're going to try to kill off the rest of the remaining characters tonight. If I can help it, at least. At least the movie characters. That's definitely my primary goal right now. So. Uh, unfortunately, that means we got a handful of mooks to go through tonight. You know, Android 14, 15, Salsa, Nezu, Dore. Just a couple of non-important characters that we're going to have to go through, but you know what? It's not that big a deal. We can manage her just fine. So, we're going to start off strong. We're going to start off with Super Janemba. I realize that it's better for me to get the mooks done earlier on. That way, I don't feel exhausted and completely, like, destitute in terms of things to talk about. You know what I mean? Alright, so, Janemba. <laughs> Man. You know, it's weird because he's been in a lot of Dragon Ball Z games by now, but, you know, given the fact that he wasn't in fucking Burslamin or Raging Boss 1, like, it feels like he's definitely a character that probably should have been in Raging Boss 1, considering they had Gogeta and Broly and Bardock. Imagine that with Gogeta, they'd probably have brought him in, but no, I guess not. Imagine they kill killed three force in between the desirables. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no kidding. If I did it linearly, I think I would have actually gone insane. I'm very glad we opened up the voting poll, the voting booth a little bit for that. So, it's been a couple weeks since I touched the game. Hopefully I'm not too rusty. Let's go ahead and begin. Wait, defeat the enemy that appears? Okay, so, just incredibly generic. So, uh, where do we begin? Janema, I don't remember how he places on a tier list from what I've seen. Uh, I'm gonna guess he's probably pretty good because he does have, he does have a pretty good complete toolkit actually like if I were to compare to anything it probably would actually be like Dragon Ball Fighters right now where he's actually a pretty fucking strong character like I'm amazed I played the game recently like two weeks ago on online and amazed at the amount of characters that amount of people that actually were using Janemba it's kind of shocking I know he's like spiked to popularity as an anchor but it's just funny to think about because he was never really that strong beforehand Anyway, a lot of this stuff actually does involve the sword now. Ooh, it got me out of that, okay. I'll just throw some blasts out of that one. So, his starting cool toolkit, what do we have? Super Breath Cannon, Lightning Shower, Rain, Mystic Breath, and it's Transmission. Wow, this is basically almost his exact same moveset spread from BT3, now that I think about it. Huh. Yeah, it really is. Ooh, he's staying grounded. Ah, it doesn't toss out the uh, unblockable sword uh, hit anymore. I will say, though, um, I have used Janemba a little bit in BT3 as like a more gimmicky character, both in terms of making the guide for him, as well as fuck around with him for the Mission 100 run. Yes, we will get back to that at some point in time. I need to get to this game first. I don't want to uh, wires crossed, if you know what I'm saying. I also got to make sure I still have the save file. Ultimate Fusion, Evil Fusion. God, also, we're going to get so many really good screen caps from Fusion Reborn. Oh my god, it is such a beautiful movie. Jesus Christ, okay. Uh, what do you guess? I mean, it gets wrong more time. Probably because of the insults. Alright, uh, Janemba is that movie character that has literally nothing to him and still manages to be better than Zebra Lee. Yeah, no kidding. I think it's, I definitely more... As someone who does find him to be like one of my absolute best, most favorite characters in old Z, I'm gonna say it, like, it's less so like what character he actually is, and more so what he represents, you know what I mean? And anyway, let me see what I can do. Um, he does have a pretty good fucking array of sword slashes, however. So, very glad about that. Uh, let's see, Mystic Shower Rain. What we got? Sorry, Lightning Shower Rain is what I meant. Good damage, holy shit. 
Nice. All right. Also, Taylor's gone out to the store really fast. I'm going to be checking my phone every once in a while to make sure she's doing good. <laughs> oh, she's going to Goodwill. Okay, I'm not going to see her for a while then. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, he's got some of the most... He's a really fun blend of, like, Super Boo mixed with Cell in terms of, like, an offensive move pool. It's, it's really cool. I thought that said... Holy fuck. Uh, I thought that said Harudigarn. Not Harlequin, so I'm like, wait, what? Did we didn't just get him, did we? No. Yeah, he's like an action. I mean, I'm sure he could probably regenerate, but he's so strong, he would never see him taken to that point to begin with. So, and honestly, yeah, that's always been like my biggest issue with with Boo as a care as a villain. Like, he's so over reliant on staying alive through you know regen regeneration that it just gets so exhausting. But Janemba, no, he's just in your face, going nonstop. It's fucking awesome. Again, it's, it's less so like who he is and more so what he represents, like a literal distillation of evil. And with the design, you pretty much get like he himself is almost like uniquely the embodiment of like what an actual scene would look like in this show. Although I guess we have an actual Demon King, so maybe we're not far off. Hey, Super Saiyan 2, we remember, dude, that's the thing, yay. Sorry, I don't have much faith in <laughs> the um, in Spike as developer sometimes to remember that. Super Saiyan 2's exist. Anyway, I'm gonna try to do basic stuff that's easy with him. Oopsie, oh. Unfortunately, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta is kind of good. Kind of. Yeah, that was fine. Oh, I didn't know we were on timer, fuck. That did not kill. Okay. I uh, told Janemba is great, but yeah. I did actually read that. But all right. Um, so like I said before, I'm going to be going on vacation from like late Wednesday to late the following Sunday. Uh, I haven't seen any unlocks yet. So as a result, I'm not going to be streaming next week for a good while. So I might try to stream Tuesday or Monday night. Uh, just so we're all on the same page about that. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Alright, let's go over here then. Fuck it. Uh, yeah, let's see what he got for supers. Because I know he does have stuff. Okay, we got... Wow. Okay, we're working out some fun. Mystic Breath I never used too much because... I don't know, I just never find it to be too useful. Full power. Increase attack power and defense for a little bit of time. That's kind of cool. Anyway, Cosmic Illusion is one of the most fun moves ever. Let me show you exactly why, although... We have a damage nerf on us, so shouldn't be. Mm. Also, I like how we're just going to the uh, kid boo route now. Love how I can combo it still. Yep, there's the scaling. Okay. Wait, it does have an actual hit? I did not know that. <laughs> okay. Yo, we got confirmed sometimes. Ah, we already used that. Fuck. That was a pretty fucking decent, though. Goddamn. All right. May as well just try it, because even though the damage is at one tenth, it might still kill alright. Maybe. Anyway, yeah, this is basically the sword super, or his ultimate from DG3. Retooled a little bit, but still pretty cool. Very nice. Ah, fuck, it was a real combo. Just losing all these exchanges right now, just mash. I know some would uh, say don't do that, but sometimes mashing is a genuinely good uh, defensive option if you just don't want to sh show your opponent to actually... 
not go overzealous. Oh my god, that's cool. Yo, let me see it again. <laughs> he actually did the uh, teleport thing. Oh yeah, uh, does he... <laughs> there we go! Yep, Cosmic Illusion is a counter super, and it's easily one of the best ones in the entire game. Also, I didn't realize before now, I'm losing health, holy fuck. Oops. Wow, that was wonky looking. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'm actually supposed to win this. I feel like I'm supposed to, though. I'm just gonna keep matching triangle. Yeah, it's got- Ooh! Real- I didn't know my combo was still going! <laughs> okay. That was what Okay, so... Shit. Yeah, I didn't know my health was actually draining before the very end, so I- I was just like, okay, this isn't going so badly. So wait, so I had to do four enemies while my supers are at like one-tenth damage, and I'm also losing health on top of that? Holy fuck, dude. I mean, that being said, my attack power is still fucking huge. Just need to actually do stuff with that. Just look at that. I'm that gives you your damage super back, and usually, I mean, don't need to. Actually, no, we haven't had to whatsoever until now. Yeah, look at this. Oh yeah, we haven't done the signature yet either. Hold up. Yeah, look at that. We already toasted two in, like, record time. But yeah, because of the fact I'm going to try to get through nine whole characters tonight alone, I'm going to be, um... trying to fast-forward through this a little bit. Oh yeah, the kickflip he does uh, for a running attack is still kind of wild with the hitbox. Like, I don't know why it's so funky. Come on. Did I give you plus rings? What the fuck? There we go. Alright, yeah. Um, the health loss definitely gets you after a while. You gotta be careful about that. Like, one or two characters is not a big deal at all. But stacking this many on top of each other? Holy shit, yeah, that's a good amount. That's all good. Watch this claws a signature, not a super this game. Yeah, it's not. Also, I love how you knew the name immediately. I sure as hell did it, and I'm an actual fa fan of this character. Oh my god, yeah, I. It sucks that Piccolo is an actual good character, too. His signature has definitely been nerfed into the ground a little bit in this game, but still nothing to write home, home about. There we go. Yeah, okay. The fucking difficulty just spikes with Piccolo at the end there. Very glad it wasn't too difficult, but... Yeah, enough to actually cause me a loss the first time through. I don't know if this is supposed to look like a crown or an M. After image. Well, that's a good move. Not stackable as hell like it was before, but hey, it's still pretty good. Um. Feast Hell Junior in a 120 second time limit. Is that supposed to be difficult? Huh. 
I'm not sure, but all right, cool. Uh, definitely gonna crank up the uh, counter super damage a little bit. Look, I'm not sorry. Frame one counters are just universally amazing, no matter how you look at it. I mean, you just need to look at how good J um, Jiren got all of a sudden. Jack Ball fires one, you know, his. Let's see which one was it. I think it was the special com uh, counter that all of a sudden shot up in usage and usability because of its properties. I might be misremembering that. I actually don't use Jiren whatsoever in DBFC, but I'm fairly sure that sounds right. Oh, does anyone actually use Jiren? I might be misremembering this one. What? Huh. Hold up. Okay. <laughs> something. I, I think something happened <laughs> here. <laughs> okay. So he got KO'd, fell to the ground, and it's supposed to change characters, but, um. Can I do anything here? No? Okay, well, I guess we just restart. <laughs> that was a very funny bug to run in into, but okay. I might be able to get counted out during that, too. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Well, I guess when you record a game for like 25 hours, you are gonna find, oh, goofy shit, especially when you're like me. Who goes a little bit ham in these games. There we go. <laughs> it's a feature. It just works. Who's laughing now? Thank you, Todd Howard. Yo. <laughs> Bullying children. I'm not sure if that was real or not. All right, let's fuck around. Oh wait, what am I doing? If he's if he's charging my face, I got a counter super. God, that's such a chunky sound effect too. I love it. Oof. Oops. I can still reset. Sometimes. <sighs> yeah, I gotta stop doing that and reacting instead with just the counter super. Haha! <laughs> and sometimes you can bait. Actually, wait, hold, hold up a sec. Doing that into instant transmission. Oh my god, I'm actually work. Bruh. I'm, I'm having ideas. Yeah, well, I'll admit, I've always wanted to use uh, Genema Dragon Ball Fighters. Like, I just haven't gotten, gotten to it yet because, like, I'm usually learning fucking 15 art characters at one point in time anyway. But he has always been pretty fun. What was it? The uh, East Coast guys are the, one, are the ones that are uh, doing shit with him. Is that actually negative on hit? That's so weird. Yeah, because like you think I would be able to follow up with another move afterwards, but no, it's just not doing anything afterwards, period. Fuck it. Alright, well, you know, that's still cool. Yeah, Janemba in this game really feels like BT3 uh, Janemba, but with the shackles taken off, it's fucking nice. You know, I, what was it? He was definitely lacking some good defensive options in BT3, I feel, besides like Mystic Breath. But yeah, when you just take the take the, take it off, like it's really good. Or what I mean take it off, I mean as in like the weaknesses that are aforementioned. Um So just kill him before Raging Soul ends? I mean, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard, if I'm being real here. Actually, you know what? We had we have enough points, we might be able to double stack these. So, Raging Blast Soul Attack up, as well as... Raging Soul Time Extension. We have not used both of these at once so far. And honestly, this is going to be severely overkill. What's the increase, like 20% of their time limit or something? It's something halfway decent. You're only the second person who's pushed me this far. Also, I still love how with that line, it's basically confirming that, yeah, this... 
is the uh, Goku after he fought Majin Buu. Oh shit, I thought I was charging a, a beam. Nope. That was very close to being a perfect, but I guess not. I won't lie though, his, his dub voice has always been a little bit on the weird side. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest about that. Nice. Oof. I think that shines new. I don't remember that being in the original uh, film itself, but okay. That's Kent? <laughs> I, yeah, I would never guess that one actually. All right, normal. How much damage can you deal on a <laughs> fucking normal against Super Saiyan three characters? Awesome. All right, what can we fuck around with? How we? What can we scroll, screw around, find out? Uh, let's find out. Um. <laughs> Bailey, thank you very much for for the resub. All right, yeah, let's bump up his. You know, what, actually, yeah, screw it. I'm gonna mess around. So we have key blasts. There we go. The audio come through for you guys? I imagine it probably did. All right, let's party. I know some one of the prior uh, VODs that the audio is echoing. I think that might be a bug I have to fuck around with, but at least the audio is there. You can't win. I don't know about the odds of Ultimate Gohan against this one. Oh wait, am I just trying to do a damage in the combo? No, I thought it just said do as much damage as you can. Okay, yeah, it might just be doing damage over- Oh, he's regenerating, I see, alright. That would explain it. That's so cool. When he starts super dashing, he actually just fucking dissipates like that. Oh, wow, look at that defense, holy shit. Bruh. I'm actually getting a bit of workout now. Alright, but yeah, we're also gonna be covering, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bullet tonight. Um... If I can help it, he's definitely gonna be the last character I do before Hotshot, who himself is gonna be the last one. Try to do that in the middle of my stuff, why don't you? <laughs> Free Jello. That'll never not be hilarious. Okay, that's getting weird. God, it's just amazing how dynamic this game looks, though, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, a lot. It's a lot of its luster. Fuck me. A bit of it hit him. And I was trying to break... <laughs> it's still wild, you can break throws from the sides. I mean, I made that bit make it a little bit too easy to deal with. Oh, maybe it's just me. Oopsie, that's a bad option. Sorry, trying to actually focus a little bit here. Wow, the fucking instant responses though. Okay. Mouth, mouth. <laughs> I'm not using Neo as much as I should, honestly, but still pretty cool. Armor. Alright, hopefully I got us in that strong. Look, that did like six and a half bars of health. That should. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, if that doesn't do it, then I'm gonna be scared. Brutal Destruction. That's a new one. That can't be a mouth beam. Huh. <laughs> How about we don't play that game, shall we? 
Anyway, how much does it cost us again to get that off of us? Oh, wait, no. Uh, defense. Yeah. Hopefully this by... Actually, we're actually lacking a good amount of points right now, weirdly enough. Hmm. Yeah, it's actually kind of odd. Uh, health auto recover. What do we go with here? Fuck. Yeah, I'm just thinking to myself, like, what exactly can we do to make this a little bit easier? But, I, honestly, yeah. Um... Oh, yeah! Okay. Unfor I'm gonna say, that move was unfortunately not really worth showing off of being real, being real here. It's a QTE super, which is fine, but it's like literally two blows and that's it. And then gets blown the fuck up. Okay, I gotta be careful here. Luckily, health is going back up, but oh god, Gogeta's got fucking five health bars. Okay. We're gonna be in for a fun fight here, boys. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. There goes one whole health bar. You know, selling that five bars is not looking very consequential, huh? Okay, well... Funny that. If he wants a beam struggle, I'll beam struggle. I love how I'm just automatically moving around, because I'm so scared about just being stuck doing a, a taunt like BT3 does. <laughs> nope. It's such a good way to solve, solve for time, it really is. If he wants to beam, I'll fucking beam struggle against him. Nope. Man, I'm starting to feel bad about this. Not feeling so bad anymore. Look, it's Gogeta. He's gonna run up and start brushing buttons. Like, BT3... DBFZ, he'll press buttons. Yeah, I know he can't do Blaster Raging Soul. That was just a general statement for when he was still outside of it. Is key maxed out when he loses the health bar? I did not see that. Huh. I'm just taking this in. I still love this screenshot. Damn. Alright. So. Fuck me, that might have been record time. I think that still took like maybe half an hour total, but like, I guess factoring that one retry, yeah, that wasn't so bad. Holy fuck. Okay. Good stuff.